you go. All right. Welcome back. He, he beat it off screen. The solution is Much just like all you Cuphead, do is just, you know, beat it do off the screen. bomb. Yeah, throw, throw some bombs. These aren't know, complicated. Bombs. Make some political statements. So we got uh, the Barack usual. Justin over here, Obama, throwing bombs on the palaces. Palaces? Temples. Palestine. Palestine? All, all of the above. Hyrule's just Palestine. Hi Hyrule's Palestine of It's the... awfully green. Palestine? I mean, the Middle East has some green spots. It's in I Africa. Know. I mean, or is there it? is a desert in this game, I think. The Gobi Desert. Oh, you can go- yeah, you can go to the Middle East. It's in the far west. Yeah, the Middle East is in the far west. <laughs> yeah, and you, have, you have to dress up as a uh, woman to get in because they hate men. Ah, uh, yes. Just like in the real Middle East. Just like in, in real life. It's actually entirely backwards. Um, yeah. Oh, man. They'll cut your clit off. Run by. Oh, so can't God. They do that. Yeah, Jonah. In, so that women can't. Bringing up the female castration. I, I don't know. It's just they don't want. It's it's terrible. They don't want women to have pleasure and they want them to have hellish yeah, to lives. to be subservient. So it's awful. Um, So. My dad has been watching this Netflix show called Indian Matchmaking. The Life of Muhammad. It's it's literally like like a dating app or whatever, but like in Indian cultures, this lady she like matches up because they do arranged marriages, you know. Yeah. Um, and she like matches up the people with like their traits with you somebody. Go they go the on dates, now. and it's basically just like the right, Bachelor, so but with Indian people. One. But you got all the, of them. It's it's always oh, so funny to me. Shrine. It's always so uh, funny to me one. because ah! probably gonna be back here. That's my guess. So. I'll see. Or is it not the Red X? Or that's a place you died. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying. We're trying to. Uh... Hey, anyone who remembers the intro, is there three or four shrines? There's four. There's four. It's okay. Uh, so, so. Okay, we're Go trying to figure to, stuff out. But anyway, I'll continue talking about the Indian thing. Um. Go on, boss. So it's so funny because all the guys it, or the girls, um, just all the people who are actually dating, you know, in the matchmaking, yeah. are super chill. Like there was a guy from Austin, Texas, and it was oh, so, yeah. like, he had a D&D &D group he played with every week, he mm. sounded like every Austin guy ever, his yeah. voice was so funny he's to me part when of I heard it. not at all what I was expecting, yeah, um, but it was, and he's super chill, but then, like, the parents are crazy I because of the culture and stuff, and they're, like, reading star charts, and it's like, you need to get married by the end of this year, you know, and it's like, what the fuck, fuck? it's it's wild, it's super interesting, but yeah, my, my dad's been watching it, so I've been catching a little bit of it when it's on. When he's watching it at dinner uh, or whatever. Oh, so that, it's super interesting. Okay, so it is close to the temple, but it's on a mountain. Do you have the floaty leaf yet? Uh, no. Place a pin. There we go. Uh, you could probably sprint to it from a thang. Let's see. Don't you get it up there? Okay, I... The floaty boy? Easier to teleport back here, I guess, yeah. first. You should talk to him, the guy. You oh, should, I don't uh, get it until I finish this last one. Finish. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I won't. Jonah, don't hurt me. I love you. <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Oh, dude, I'm such in the Baby vibe for, uh, God. Brandon's for feeling God. Jet Set Radio <laughs> for the music. I'm feeling The World Ends With You for the music. That music's a fucking bop. I feel like it might be hard to play The World Ends With You, though. I like, love, yeah, to record. Like, yeah. To record? It's probably gonna be kind of hard. I, it should be fine, because it's on Switch. It works best with handheld, from what I hear, though. Like I mean, you can board. do the Joy-Con version. It'll suck, but you'll get through it. Um... I think that game is just best on DS. Honestly, yeah. Maybe you could only. Em, em, what, what, I have the DS there, version too. I there is just a 3D. That. There is a 3DS capture software, but there's only one, and it's kind of janky. But we could try to get that figured out later yeah, you know in the future. On 3DS. Oh, yeah, like What's that? Mario 64. <laughs> Shoutouts to fuck you, Nintendo, pussy bitch ass company. <laughs> oh, we we appease to, to children in the game. Oh, shut up, shut up, Nintendo, little bitch. Jesus, Mike has heated views about Nintendo. I Justifiably, love, I, show. I was a Nintendo. It's a love-hate relationship. I've basically gotten Shofu's views on Nintendo, except he's a lot more chill about it. Yeah. You know, I, you you brought this up a little bit about like the Jet Set Radio and stuff. I love how much Jet video games have has like increased people's music interest. Yeah. And, like made people aware of like different types of music. Guitar and stuff. It's Hero great. and Rock Band, especially. Do you remember when uh, in in like early high school, I didn't know shit about musics and like any bands until Pat. Our friend took me to his house and like made me sit and play a shit ton of yeah, dude. It's great and, and guitar even just, like, rhythm. People who are like, "Yo, this music's pretty good in this game." It's like I love that that like awareness that yeah. people are finally actually paying attention to what they listen to, not uh -huh. just listening to mainstream garbage. Oh my god, you some know? games can be sold on their soundtrack alone. Yeah, and it, nice. it's like 
I love, you know, I actually really like a lot of pop music like Katy Perry and stuff and like a lot of hip-hop and rap and trap music and a lot of the stuff that's popular. <laughs> but there's a lot of it that's just garbage. Jonah the Trap. There, there is a lot there of is a lot it's of like, garbage. There, there's it's a lot of great stuff, but there's a lot of really crap, if you, too. If so you it's, think that it's, temple's it's a in a ice, you can cook some heat potions with the materials you got back at that fire. Cool. But you do you, baby. Cool, he says, while not doing it. I mean, I'm not trying to backseat game him. He he can do whatever That's he true. wants. He's I an mean, adult. The backslash. only backseat we're game we're, we're like backslash. Yeah, backslash gaming. Would Wait a minute, God damn it! Uh, <laughs> would you do if Lee like credit carded your booty hoe? Your booty hoe? Your booty hoe. <laughs> With what? Uh, His dick. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Swiping right like Tim. Settle, I, call, I call that hot dog. Settle in it. down, Mike Tyson. You just put it in the you put the hot dog in the buns. <laughs> I'm gonna come get you, baby girl. Don't you, don't you reject me? Who is that impression? Mike of? Tyson. I don't oh, know why okay, he talks Jesus. like that. He doesn't. He's like more like, my... I'm gonna. F- <laughs> Can I say I'm that gonna... quote? This is the most raw comeback ass. in all history. Is when he says, "I'm a fuck you till you love me." F- oh, Jesus! Wow. He oh. said that to a dude where the dude was like, "Put him in a straight jacket." Jesus. Christ. And Mike Tyson's like, "Put your mother in a straight jacket, you fucking bitch." <laughs> yeah, Tyson's are all as shit, but he has a, he has a hilarious voice until he doesn't, because he actually talks like a scary monster, which he is. I know. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is okay. Here's Tyson a question: Tyson is a convicted rapist, but the Mike Tyson mystery show is pretty funny, and that character is lovable. Do you okay? Do you think? Have you played the Wii Punch Out? Uh, no. Okay. Well, are you familiar with the Mr. Sandman yes. character? Um. Do you think he's based on Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali or both? Um, or probably, George Foreman, maybe, or something I would like say, that. I'd say not Foreman. He, Foreman was too heavy set. That one's more of a... It's a belt figure, kind of like uh, Mayweather and Muhammad Ali and yeah. Tyson. So I'd say it's a mix of Tyson and yeah. Ali, if anything. That character scared the shit out of me when I played that game first. I love that game, though. I'll play it for the channel at some point. I, 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 I would have to practice, though. That like, second round is hard. Do you like old school Punch-Out for the NES? I never really played it. Um, for, it's, it seems fine. I just like the Wii version better so because for me, it looks nice. They a lot of indie games will put old school punch out sections in their game. Like this was in the Messenger, the Ninja game. Oh on wait, Switch. there's there's one on um uh, Enter the Gungeon too. There right? is. Yeah. There's the rat fight. I hate old school punch out. Really? Yeah, I hate its controls. I don't like it at all. So when they put those sections in, I, I hate it. The Wii the Wii version controls pretty closely to the 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 um the Wii has the same like the the, philosophy, any, the original but one, but it, it just con- it just feels better. Yeah, it's got it a does. similar layout basically. I mean the Wii the Wii mode is does basically the Wii an have NES controller. Do you do a but... straight up like like uh, me boxing style of uh, you can I you think... can use motion controls but no one plays that way okay that's so like it's an option it's not yeah so the way you, you should, should do it, it is you hold the Wii mode sideways no oh. nunchuck oh my god Dang, I try to eat oh, oh what? A damn, damn. Yeah. <laughs> um you hold the nunchuck si- I mean the, the no nunchuck hold the Wii mode sideways like an NES controller one and two are your two different hands and yep. then left and right is your dodge and oh, hold yeah. up now, is the to, audience to, can't see hold this, up is to do his, Ita- his hands around like an Italian yeah <laughs> oh it's the pizza the pizza 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 um, Ronnie up, up, holding up is your uh, is like punching uppercuts, and then All it's right, regular jabs back. if you don't oh, press right. a direction, and then the down is duck, and it still has like the stamina system from OG Punch Out. And stuff. So, anyways, uh, it's speaking pretty good. Of though. The person I, I love, uh, I have this thing where I send her like American really deep culture memes on Instagram that she just doesn't get, and she'll be like, because she's from Japan. No, she's Italian. Oh, I, okay. I didn't know yeah. you were talking about Italian. So I thought you were talking about a friend from exchange. She'll be like, I, I send her the, the school word holding a, like, a glizzy, and it's like, by the gods, a certified glizzy gladiator. And she's like, I don't really get it. They no. have it. <laughs> glizzy. glizzy. I'm going to pull that up right now and play it it's in the, the microphone. I, I send her love. that shit. She's like, she's like oh, now okay, I, I get it. On here. All right. Where did... Gl- oh, motherfucker. Shout outs to Brandon. Damn it. Brandon. Seven Cogra was supposed to show up. <laughs> what? I want Severin Cogger yeah. to show up on your screen. Oh, Brandon's <laughs> playing the Titty Bounce Simulator. Where did Glizzy come from? Like, that term. Uh, Glizzy McGuire, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> really? That gets you? Uh. This is this happens to me all the time. Like, any joke I kind of try and put effort in, it doesn't hit. But anyone I just throw out naturally <laughs> lands hard as Humor fuck. is best that's when you don't. Yeah, humor is best when you don't. But that's my problem. Damn, I always, like, shit. the ones I try yeah. for makes me laugh, but oh. no one else. I have very s- there's, there's specific Big brain taste. humor is, is yeah, If you that's take true. another heart, We do have a lot of deep it, cut humor here. Justin, sorry. All right, here. You all ready for the best, the best audio yeah, ever made? Yeah, do it. Put it in, baby. They won't have Glizzy. Glizzy. <laughs> Glizzy's Glizzy. a hot dog, viewers. Uh, yeah, gl- look up look up Glizzy. Safe search off. Well, 
Welcome uh, to the Glitch should I just make the fucking thumbnail like the Squidward meme where he says "By the Gods, a certified glizzy gladiator" and put Link on it? Maybe. Uh, yeah. No way, I'm dead. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll put this. I'll put the Zelda hat on him. That's it. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's it. Oh yeah. By by the way, for the audience, Mike does all the thumbnails. If you're I do, curious. I'm a big. Meme. I need to put that in the, in uh, the uh, description. I have to contribute somehow because Brando and Jonah are the editing pros. Yeah, I do all the I'm recording stuff, useless. and I was the editor for all of SA2, and then I taught but Brandon God how to do it. Fucking damn! Well, if I can't no, make a I good mean, thumbnail. It, yeah, I know. Mike makes fantastic thumbnails, and anything helps. Mike is the talent. Uh, We're so the sorry talent. for party. Right I am. I am the brain. They're kind of giving me like an extra cut. Brandon like is some... the uh, brawn, and Mike is the talent. What is it? Okay, so it's like when you if it's like if you bring Don Cheadle the to an indie brawn, film I mean. production, and you have to like give all your budget to Don Cheadle. I'm basically that for backslash. Except I suck. I don't get that reference at all. But all right, never mind. Uh, I know who Don Cheadle is, but that's about yeah, as far I as that reference goes to me. Don yeah, even Iron Man's best friend, Don Cheadle, couldn't stop the Mandarin. And then he gets crippled. Dude, what if Don Cheadle, instead of getting crippled, got a giant, like, massive sloppy from Scarlett Johansson? And then and that's how he got it to be, that's how he Dude, became that's how he able to walk Thanos. again. They, like, they, like, they suck his, both his nuts, and he, like, busts a fat Titan nut. I just give him it. Glizzy. Yo, I, I did the puzzle. <laughs> Thanos was, Glizzy. Was this your was this your Seven Eleven? Holy it shit! Was you get like one of those hot dogs that's wrinkled at the end, and yes. you, you, you dye it purple, and it's Thanos Glizzy. Thanos Glizzy. <laughs> oh my god! What was? What do you say? It's like was this your home plane? It's like it was, and it was gorgeous, and it's just him oh, holding a hot okay. dog, a Glizzy. <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't even stasis that. Perfectly balanced as all things. Yo. It's the glizzy on his. Yes. <laughs> that could be another thumbnail, oh and it'll be a, the, the link head on that. Oh my god. Viewers, if you you'll you'll know by the time this comes out. Yeah, what the thumbnails are, but we like to throw around. All ideas. six of you, all six of our viewers, I love. No, you. we get about we get about like in the teens. All everybody teens. Uh, phew, I'm not gonna say I love teens. All, all. <laughs> I'm not a Smash player. All double digits. Uh. Uh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> all your weapons, dude. Right. Double D. From Ed and Nettie? Yeah. I loved Ed and Nettie. Dude, aesthetic... I did too. It's so good. Did you it... Canadian? Is it really? Yeah. That's crazy. It is... okay. I love the jazz too. I'm so sure that's why I'm in the jazz. voice for Eddie was an Evangelion, and it's like... Wait, holy really? shit. Yeah. Okay, there's an English <laughs> clip somewhere where, where the guy's like, Every single missile hit the target! <laughs> ah! And he gets blown up, and it's like... <laughs> it's the schemer, Eddie. I don't know what his... Do they call him Ed or Eddie? Which one? The, the, the smart short, one? The smart one. Yeah, it's, it's double D. No, not no. I'm sorry, not the smart one. The schemer one. The schemer one with the three hairs and the yeah. That's, that's that's Ed. That's Ed. Okay, it's Ed. Yeah, the that's shortest Ed. one, right? Yeah, the shortest one. Yeah. God, Ed and Eddie's such a fucking vibe. I, I love that show. We dude. should watch that on backslash and comment it. I would love to do commentary, post commentaries for stuff like movies and shows. Um, the problem with it is like you can't upload all that to YouTube. No, take it down. Yeah, you'll probably so get content ID. How you... I would think about doing it. This is what I know. Uh, I brought this up before. There's a channel called Pretty Much It that I really like. What they do is they actually have a website where you can buy their commentaries. Or yeah, I think what, what I guys. think we would I'm do... I'm looking at Justin Lee and... Fuck, I'm looking at Justin. Is, uh, and um, uh, I'm getting kind of blurry. Oh, God, Mike. Oh, um, shh, it's fine. <laughs> um, but so what Dude, I that guy's do, got a fat nose. You think he put that in his way? I don't really like the... Oh, my God. I don't really like the idea of looking paying like for I content necessarily, for necessarily. So I don't know if I would put it up on a website that you had to pay. Yeah. I think what how I would do it is we'd put it up on Spotify, our commentaries, and then I would... He's a ghost? <laughs> what type of ghost are you talking about, Mike? Ghostface, um, ghostface Killer, obviously, from yes. uh, Wu-Tang. Um, but, yeah, so I'd put... I, I think if we were to do that, we'd put the full commentaries up on Spotify, and then we, I'd do, like, a best-of clips Dude. accompanied by the visuals We should do a playthrough on, where on we the commentate channel. over the entire Wu-Tang discography. <laughs> Alright, probably faster. Wu from... Wu and then we gotta Not do here, all the Sonic sound effects. What's your favorite Wu-Tang Clan song? Or do you prefer Quest? A tribe called Quest. Uh, Wu-Tang. But I don't know if I have a favorite song off the top of my head. Wait, I still hold it to the tower. Oh, well. Justin, did anyone ever tell you you have talent? You could really make it in the world. <laughs> That's so fucked when people say shit like that to what? you. It's like pretty passive. It's, it's pretty passive aggressive. It's just encouraged? How is it passive aggressive? You yeah, could really make it in the world. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. You're a lot more mature than the other girls your age. Come to my locker room after practice. Yeah, come, come to my... Yeah. Come to my Smash tournament. Wait for all the other girls to leave I'll the showers and open the door for me, and we'll have a fun little talk. Dude, there was a guy my freshman year Ooh. of college who exclusively would bring girls and do it in the shower. What, like young girls? No, like Jeez, college age. Christ, college. Jonah, think college, about the man. topic. Yeah. Fuck you. Uh, no, you uh, <laughs> but, um... Dude, I don't know, maybe he was a sleazy guy, but he would exclusively fuck girls in the showers. Do you think the Joker from uh, the Dark Knight would have done that? It's a public bathroom. 
I recently oh, did we talk about me watching The Dark Knight on it? Let's I believe before? we did. I believe Fuck. it was in the Mario one. All right, well we're gonna talk about it again, dude. The Dark Knight was kind of woke. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, mean, the, I was gonna say the Joker was woke, but I'm movie. glad I didn't. <laughs> no, I think you did in the other one. Oh, I don't even. Have kind one. of. It's because no, because you because you brought up how how it glorifies police too much and how the Joker is actually the good guy because he's. Like, <laughs> I didn't say that. Anarchic, that anarchist or whatever. Dog. Yeah, I know. We talked about in like one of the cu- earliest parts well, like of Sonic Shadow Adventure about how I'm Shadow sipping, the Hedgehog as a game is an I'm allegory sipping, for I'm police ignoring. violence. Okay, that in, it is. Oh, okay. That's, in, that's, in that's facts. That is that is all no cap. I will defend that. That is like a hill. Miles that Edgeworth. is a hill. Mike will die on. That Except is a. Miles that's not a hill. That's a fucking mountain. Okay, that Mike do you guys prefer Edgeworth or, or Wright? Edgeworth has a big fat like he's awesome. He's a chat. He's like fuck you, Phoenix. I hate you. And, he got, he got two games of his own, actually. I, they're, I'm sad they're not on 3DS, except the whole, like, all six Phoenix Wright games are, except for the Edgeworth games. They, I think they did make it to 3DS in Japan. Only in Japan. Yeah. And Japan has a problem where the Japan right, says, fuck you, here. only for us. Gotta love that. Uh, it's the revenge for uh, Fat Boy and Little Man. <laughs> Jesus. Next I'm time sorry, on I meant Backslash. Chaos Blast. There you go. Next time on Backslash. <laughs> Chaos? Uh, Blast! Next time on on backslash the uh, post war period of I Japan. I love Shadow. I love you. Bye. Uh, Akita, actually. Is that, Bye. Is that our time? Yeah. Sweet.